Hello everyone, this is Ultimate Number, and welcome back for more Snog Adventure. In the last part, we did Amy's Bee Missions, and this part we're gonna do Big What's the up, Cat's Bee Missions. Not quite the moment you've all been waiting for, but it's one of the big moments you've been waiting for. Or possibly not been waiting for. So, I'm not going to really have much to talk about much, but one thing I will talk about... Oh, you want to learn how to fish? I'll, I'll sure teach you. If only I could. Anyway, um, one thing I would like to talk about is what I'm doing. Is, like, YouTube in general. Just a bit. Um, you know how I said I was trying to, I'm gonna try to update frequently from now on? It doesn't seem like I'm doing that, it seems like I'm doing it as slow as ever. However, it is not my fault this time, it's actually YouTube's fault this time. Because apparently, I try to upload something, it won't upload. So I try again. It still doesn't upload. I try several more times. It progressively get more... It progressively uploads more, but it never finishes 100%. So yeah, basically I'm trying to upload like dozens of times before I try the next day and then suddenly... And then suddenly it just works. That's basically why I'm not really uploading as frequently. It's not my fault, it's pretty much YouTube's fault. Oh, that's not the worst of it though. Sometimes it does upload fully, it just never processes. Like, it will not process no matter how long I wait. I wait all day, all night. No joke. It still won't process. I just have to cancel the upload and try again later. Yeah. This is bas basically this is for being recorded after I've posted part 33. So yeah, I still have several parts to still to post that just will not get uploaded. They just will not. It's like, what a shame. Like, is YouTube doing this because several people are trying to upload it once and YouTube's got, like, too many videos or something? Or something like that? Because if that's the case, then... The train headed for the Mystic Ruins I guess that's soon. a good enough reason. So anyway, back to Big here. Let's go on and do his first B mission, shall we? And because he doesn't really do much but fish, what his mission should be, in case you don't know, should be a quite obvious. And if you don't know already, I want you to make a guess. Could it be finding a flag? Could it be collecting rings? Could it be capturing a specific type of fish? Well, you see, for Big's B missions are... Catch a 1,000 gram fish and Froggy. Now, that doesn't sound too bad. And it's honestly not that bad. Only problem, though, is the only fish you've ever really catched were under 1,000 grams. So, catching them might take a bit of a rub here. First of all, gotta look for a fish that's big enough. Don't try going specifically for Froggy, who's right here, and really, really tiny. This fish, this fish is definitely big enough. It could be 2,000 gram, even. But I'm trying to look for a fish that is not too big and not too small. 
also, it appears these are the only three fish in here. No, there's one more. Meh. I'll try going for this one. And I'll try to bait him into a wall or something. That or I'll just let him nibble my lure. Catch him from a reasonable distance, because if you try to catch them too close, then they just swim away. One design flaw that just they really should reprogram. Also, I want to try to catch them when they're facing towards me. That might be too close. Could try. No, not you. From here's fine. Hey, hey, hey! I want you to take the bait. nibbled on it, but the fish stay intact. The back... When a fish nibbles on a lure, it actually resets the fish a little bit. Come on, I want to go for you and only you. No. Take the bait. There we go. And he's heading that way, which... Is not too bad. So that means I can to not lure him in very far. Assuming he doesn't quite a bitch to catch. Come on. Just let him come towards me because he's heading my way. And he shouldn't be that hard. Come on. He's right there. One meter. Come on. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And yeah, as you saw, I'm using A to lure this time, because apparently it's easier if you use A, unless you really think the fish is going to get away or break the lure. Fish have different AI than Froggy. You, you really want Froggy to face towards you when you get the lure, because Froggy can only go in 180 degree directions. And he's being a dumbass and heading only towards me. Good. The fish are different from that. They can go in literally any direction they please. Usually it's away from you, and it's not a and it's not a good time not at all. Too bad. Also, in case you're wondering, you can't just catch a 500 G fish and then froggy to get a thousand G. It doesn't work that way. You have to catch a one thousand G fish yeah, in one go. It, it won't work otherwise. This one guide I have says you can do that, but it's it's lying. You can't. You just can't. Alright, so next stage, ice cap. As soon as I the talk to everyone, first of course, which I love talking to NPCs because it they make me they have me learn when their story is in relation to anyone else's. Which, no matter how many times I say, it's still my favorite feat, one of my favorite features of this game. It's just too bad Sonic Adventure 2 took it out. It's just, it's just too bad. What else did I talk about? Oh yeah, something, something really annoying happened one time when I was, when we had like Mark Davis's Pro Bass Challenge. One morning, I woke up to that game. And the sound effect, select lore playing repeatedly. So it was like, select, 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 <laughs> repeatedly. And it was happening for like several minutes straight. Clearly it was somebody drunk. Not gonna say who it was though. <laughs> and apparently they were like, mashing literally every single button on the controller possible. 
and because of this, it's like stuck in a select lore loop for several minutes before actually doing something else, only to return to the select lore option. And of course, not even catching any, any damn fish. Never played drunk, never played video games drunk, cause then stuff like that could happen if you're really drunk. Like, I know, there exists drunk playthroughs of many games, like drunk Minecraft, or like playing cool games drunk. Which honestly, playthroughs like that, they're interesting, but not the best to watch. Unless you, there, it's a group of people drunk, but not too drunk. Now, if they were, like, drunk off of, like, non-alcoholic beverages or, like, tiredness, I find I would find that the most funny, especially tiredness. Tiredness, drunkness is the best drunkness. Also, is there a single person here? Yeah, there is. How much you want to bet that that one guy despawned? Maybe he didn't. I'll check again. I would be your assistant, but I'm looking for the other two first. We just want to go up this river, because that if you go upstream, it'll always lead, lead to the pig's house. Which, by the way, I found something really glitchy the other day. I lift the bed from this thing here. And... No, that's not what happened. It's like... I lift... I lifted it, and fell off this at the same time. So what happened was... What happened was, Big was carrying an invisible object. I want to show that again. Come on. No. Come on, Big, you can do it. Hold an invisible object. Come on. Well, that was a bit glitchy. And that was as well. I don't think his bed should have should have been in my way. Come on. Hold an invisible object. I know you can do it. He just doesn't want to do it. You can take my word for it. If you grab it and fall off at the same time, he holds an invisible object. Aha, you do exist. Yeah, it's still me. Let me see if that fourth guy despawned. Because this place seems to have people here when it wants to. I'm pretty sure that guy, first guy I wanted to talk to wasn't there, because if he was, he would have appeared, because I always check there first. He shouldn't have been able to despawn. And if he did, oh well. He does not appear to be here, so... I will leave and go to the second stage, Ice Cap. Which is... Honestly, the easiest stage. No, the second easiest stage to do the fishing in. In order, the difficulties of the fishing it, from easiest to hardest are... Excuse me. Hot Shelter, Ice Cap, Emerald Coast, Twinkle Park. No, 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 switch Twinkle Park and Emerald Coast. Emerald Coast is the hardest course to fish. Why didn't you leave? Okay. How come every time I take that warp, something weird happens? Never any normal activity. It's always paranormal activity. Always. Jump the whole lake because I can. Wow, big. 
You sure practiced your jumping capabilities, or long jumping capabilities. You might be able to keep up with Amy, even. Someday, but not now. Here we are again, in the night cold ice cap, where we're catching Froggy and nothing else. Well, well, a fish, and then Froggy, and then nothing else. First of all, let's investigate what are we catching here. I usually go for the eel, because it's, like, the only thing in here. This robot fish is way too out of the way. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for the eel. And, of course, let's face this corner here, because that's usually the best way to go here. Can't cast your lore in the ice, because it won't sink. Okay, so we're looking for that eel. We're not looking for Froggy. The eel's pretty deep down there. There we go, we got his attention. The eels look vicious. Wait, that's not an eel. It's one of those... What do you call them? I have no idea what this is, but I've seen this fish before. Big, big, it's right there. Big, grab him. I got a fish. Hold on, was that the exact same size as the fish I caught Twinkle Circuit? If so, wow. Come on, Froggy. Oh, now a shark spawns there. Never mind, I usually go for the shark. Up. Oh, nope, just a nibble. I pressed down, I repeatedly pressed down. Big just didn't want to. Froggy, what are you doing? There we go. I guess he I guess he was at the surface and he couldn't move because he was at the surface. And because I let him nibble on the lure, Froggy's found a new home just like a scuttlebug. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Like, if when Froggy nibbles on the lure, he takes his new home to where he nibbled the lure. So, if, if Froggy nibbles the lure too, too close to a wall, Froggy can potentially get stuck on that wall, and therefore you can never actually catch him. Rendering the stage uncompletable, and you have to either restart the stage, kill yourself, or just quit the stage and come back. It's really stupid, and I've had that happen to me in practice once on Hot Shelter. Hot Shelter's the easiest stage to do it in. Because there's so many walls. There's not really much water. Stage, everyone's favorite, Emerald Coast. The train headed for Station I could Square go to Hot Shelter so we can finish this in a faster manner, but I will continue the trend of doing the stages in order. <sighs> I will be so happy once I do the A missions. Because when I do the A missions, I will not go to the adventure field anymore. So after Big and Gamma, basically Gamma is going to be the final time I will go into the adventure field. Un at least until Su this is Twinkle Park. At least until Super Sonic and Chow. But those are the only two times after Gamma that I will ever go to the adventure field ever again. And I will be happy about this. Because that means less chances to despawn the eggs. I don't want to despawn no eggs. Oh boy, unavoidable ring. If you're doing ringless challenge, you can't, because the game just spawns you on an unavoidable ring. Just like how in Mario's Adventure, if you're doing CC list, CCC list, it just spawns you on top of a unavoidable ring. Really dumb. Okay, 
so we're looking for... I usually go for a, hammer, a hammerhead shark. They're, they're almost always 2000G. So we're going to look for a small-ish hammerhead shark like this one. I'm going to place myself right here, and I'm going to take the lure close, but not too close to the shore. So if I do this, and I if I manage to get any fish's attention, it seems like I got one. Because camera panned. Come on. Anyone? Nope, no one. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll fish here, I'll let it sink a bit, wait for the shark, and then reel it in. Shark, I know you want it. Where even is it? Nope, he was there. Guess I'll have to fish right here. Ugh. I can't get too far away from the shore because if he bites it and he doesn't touch the shore, then I'm just screwed. Because they're vicious trying to catch. Come on. Where's the shark? Don't make me look for another one. Oh, there's something. Yes! Yes! Okay, so be because I... I got it so close to the shore, it hit the shore and therefore cancelled its movement. However, that doesn't mean it's it won't be a bitch to catch. Because, as you can see, it's moving every single direction except where Big actually is. Oh, that sound! The... Whenever a fish makes that sound, it means they're gonna swim away and you can't do literally anything about it. No, no you don't. I mean, look at this eel. Look how vicious it looks. Come on. Come on. Four meters. Three. Big. Big. He's right there. I got a fish. Oh, so close. Thankfully, we're not going for 2 two kg. <laughs> so remember, the shore glitch will be useful when catching a 2 kg fish. Kilogram fish. Remember, 2 kilograms is 2.2 pounds meaning that they have no right to be that hard to catch. Come on, Froggy, let's do this. No, don't face that way. Like, I know how you work. Froggy's coming! Froggy. Immediately came. There we go. Big is skewed. Not hey, look, Nasfro 24 2. Except there's no minus. I don't know, the name of a friend of mine. The username of a friend of mine. Shout outs to her, by the way. Okay, so let's do our last stage now. Hot Shelter. To where we can have our shattered fate, in which I break my lure like 50 times before I catch a single fish there. Normally the best spot place to catch a fish is that secret place I showed you had to get to in part 27, but honestly that is, that is honest, not the best place to fish even though it seems like it is. The best place to fish is the default location. Because in the default location, I'll just point out when I get there. I mean, sure, the the hidden tank has like 
seal cans and stuff like that, but they're not worth it. I think the seal can is almost always 2,000 grams, but it was hard for me to catch. Then again, I did only use the second lure power-up, not knowing where the other two were. And, act by the way, it actually was 2000G. Not exactly, though. Let's do this every time. Because it's cool. So yeah, this tank. As you can see, it has weird fish. I don't know what any of these are except for that one, which is a seal can. Also, that one looks like the it looks like a king a queen king eel over there, like the one with the yellow thing attached to it, things attached to its neck and head. Forehead. What, kind of, what is that? Even what was that even? Remember, you can't catch that eel in the pool no matter how hard you try. You can't even fish in that water, and if you when it when you fill this tank in, you can't go back. In fact, once you go in here, you can't go back. Because you flooded this room. Let's begin Let's begin our ordeals, shall we? Also the music was set it there because here would normally play a cutscene, but it's not going to this time. And because the water is lowered, we have an easier time catching these fish. Also, what? Okay. Why? Do you see his eyes? His eyes are right there. Can you see him right above his actual eyes? His pupils? I mean, look where they are. Can you see him? Jeez, why can I read that sign from way the hell over there? That's not right. He reminds me of Majora's Mask, where you can talk to people from way far away than you're supposed to. Okay, so what should I catch? I can catch you. Uh, just about anything here will do, really. They're all usually almost too kg. This one looks reasonable, but it might be actually a bit too small. Although I doubt, I, I honestly doubt it would be. This one looks just right. So... Remember that... We want it to go towards the wall, if we can help it. No, no, that's not good enough. We're looking for a fish that is too- is close enough to the wall to where we can lure it in immediately. Just that, then we're golden. I see a golden opportunity right here. Hey, hey, Sharky. Sharky. Okay, let's not go for that one, because he is just perfectly placed. No, that was a bad cast. That was a bad cast, too. We're gonna cast right here. We're gonna cast so close that we catch the shark almost immediately. Shark. Notice. Okay, fine, you won't notice. Right here. Right here. Fine, let me wait. Right here. I can't really 
find a good spot. Yeah, this is perfect. Are you gonna notice the bait or not? I've reeled it in too far. Really? It's not gonna let me... Oh, but it lets me do it there. Come on. Shark. Sharky. There we go. Yes! And he's heading towards my way. Oh! Now imagine if that was easy for every A mission onwards. Okay, good. Froggy's not near any shark. He's, he's not gonna get eaten alive. So let's just catch Froggy and get the hell out of here. Froggy's not gonna be a bitch like the fish. As long as you catch Froggy when he's facing towards you, you should be fine. You're mine now. Froggy. Immediately. So... That was just the B missions, though. Wait till we get to the A missions. Not too bad. If the A missions go as well as the B missions right here, then honestly, I would be, I would consider this play, that, that not not just Big's missions, but the entire playthrough, an A plus. Because no matter who I watch, they always struggle with even Froggy. Fortunately, though, I, I didn't struggle with either, except for when I did the C missions. But now that I know how Froggy functions, I know what I'm in for here. So now we did all of B, Big's B so missions. In the next part, we will do our final character's B missions, Gamma, or E-102-Y. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode where we do just all of Yama's beat missions.